on our trip to Navarre, uh, we hit the Navarre Beach uh, Pier, which is uh, one of the longest fishing piers in Florida. Um, I think it is the longest fishing pier in Florida. It's uh, 30 feet above water, about 1,500 feet tall or long. Uh, it's a dollar to go on there just to walk it and $7 to fish all day, and you can rent tackle and all that too. We saw some leatherback sea turtles. They can be the size of a Volkswagen. They're huge, and uh, one of them was uh, probably six or seven feet long. A guy there earlier had caught a uh, seven or eight foot tarpon, and they sit there and watch for the tarpon to come in. But the fishing's supposedly really good. We didn't fish off the pier. We did. We fished other sites, but uh, they had said they'd seen a 14 foot hammerhead the day before, just cruising along. You see the water real well. But it's really nice, and uh, a lot of locals down there, and they really know what they're doing. Uh, it pull it up to the bank, looks like it could be a little bit too crowded for me, but uh, we did see one YouTube guy that we had, had seen on YouTube, and he was down there doing the same thing. But uh, really beautiful, uh, enjoyed it, and uh, good entertainment for the kids just to take them walking down. And if they're under five, they get they get in free too. So just to walk down the pier and, and, and check everything out. But they're, you know, the turtles were really cool to see. i tell you what, guys, going to Navarre is, uh, is just incredible. I've been to Pensacola, I've been to Destin and, you know, all the Emerald Coast, but never been to Navarre. And if, if you're looking for a family place to go, Navarre's it. I mean, as you can see, the, the beaches are not crowded. Even on Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday, they weren't nearly as crowded as the other beaches. No big parties going on or anything like that. The beaches are gorgeous, well-kept, uh, very protective of the sea life uh, as far as the turtles go and, and all that, uh, the, the turtle nest. Uh, and typical Emerald Coast, just uh, white sands and, and beautiful. We did drive over to Pensacola one day and realized, <clears throat> realized how crowded the other beaches can be so if you're really if you're looking to go and take the family or just want some quiet time uh the bar is the place to go and uh yeah we thoroughly enjoyed it the fishing and the, the walking the beaches and sunset and all just beautiful hey we made it to the beach we Joe Patty. seafood. So we're going to go in here and get some fresh seafood. I have to look this up because it is an interesting story. It's been here and been serving, the family has been serving here in this location for over 90 years. You take a number when you go in. We didn't have time to video inside. By the time we took a number and picked out what we wanted, they called our, called our number. So all kinds of fresh fish, seafood, fish, shrimp, you name it, they had it. And good, good prices. Richard's cooking. Yes, I am. Got fresh shrimp, we got crab. It's a bowl. This ain't a gumbo. This is a shrimp and crab bowl. Blue crab. Got some lemon, onion, garlic. Got some mushrooms in there. Cause Jake and I like mushrooms. Some corn. We got on corn, we got potatoes. Sausage too. Crawfish sausage. And, and then you garlic. put garlic bread. Garlic bread normally? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Looks good. And then, and then he's been, he's had the blender going. Had the what? Oh, yeah. 
Pina coladas. I ate some pina coladas to go along with it. I had some pina. Pino coladas, maybe. Pina. Pina more pino coladas today. It'd be pino grigio. <laughs> Troy Landry. <laughs> Troy, come on in. Troy, brought some gator. <laughs> <laughs> gator tail. That poor old crab. You be good. You look better turned over. you get the dust, I'll dip. What's that? Why don't you start the dusting and I'll dip that stuff out. We'll uh, that's pretty good right there. That's that good. Fine frog hair right there. That's fine, fine frog hair. That's a shit. <laughs> we did have a great meal. This is the con, behind the condo was a very long walking pier. There's a private fishing pier with lights on the end, which track the fish at night. So. so in the evenings, we would come down here with live... Live shrimp and, uh, our, of course, our rod and reels. And at the end of the pier, there's lights. So we wait till dark and, well, almost dark, and got down there and, and uh, got ready to fish. And by the time the uh, got set up, it was ready to fish and the speckled trout were everywhere. And we caught a million of them, but most of them were undersized. Uh, Missy caught some keepers and I think we brought four or five back to the back to the place to eat uh, fried those up the next night uh, beautiful sunset now this is on the it's not on the ocean side it's or the gulf the, side the it's on the sound the sound <laughs> side or the bay side so hey, I want to take a selfie. hey guys hey we're on our way home now we had a great time there's uh, Navarre Beach is, is fantastic it's family friendly and we fished and cooked and we did the thing and now it's time to go home. We're ready, we're ready to be home. Uh, I think actually we were ready to be home yesterday, but uh, we we're both worn out. So I let Missy drive. She's driving home. We're about six hours from home now. But uh, anyway, I highly recommend the bar beach. The condos we stayed in were great. Uh, Sand castles, that was the name Yeah, I wouldn't recommend them. You wouldn't? Mm -hmm. There was issues that I'd I had issues with it. Come on, guys. If you're going to charge $500 a day for a condo, provide damn paper, I mean, paper products and trash liners. I should not have to go buy trash bags. That's tacky, tacky, tacky. Don't be like that. So, go ahead. Yeah, there was one roll of toilet paper per bathroom. And a roll of paper towel. 
possibly brought her own toilet paper. And no trash bags. You want your trash carried out. That's part of your household. But you don't leave trash bags to do that. Tacky. Tacky. But it was comfortable. It was it was beautifully decorated. And we had a private dock that we could fish off of. You know, it was, it was, it was nice. So, but next time we'll look, look for something else. Okay, we did have a great speed charter. Trap ahead. Speed trap ahead. Okay, we did have a, a great time on the charter. The guy's name is Casey McDonald. You can look him up. and uh, we'll, we'll put a link down in below. Great guy. Four hour trip for 500 bucks and bait and tackle and all that. He cleans the fish for you. Oh, yeah. let's see. Right lane must turn right. Yeah, right. I see that. I'm interested in this nursery though. Is that not? Do you see all the stuff growing down there? Seafood shop, went to a seafood shop in Pensacola called Joe Patty's. Huge, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're down there going and filling up your ice chest with shrimp and every kind of fish you can imagine. It's in Pensacola. Cheap, cheap. Four ninety nine a pound for jumbo shrimp. Head on, which is fine. I pull the head off myself. But five bucks a pound uh, versus Galveston a few months ago it was fourteen dollars a pound for shrimp. So thanks for taking the time to watch us. Um, like and subscribe. Yeah, we need we're needing to increase our numbers. So guys, please, we're I know we haven't put out a lot of videos here lately because of it being so hot. We don't do a lot of repairs or do anything on the farm during the summer because it's too hot. I mean, we are we're in triple digits in, in heat advisory every day. So what we are doing is first thing in the morning when it's still cool, and then we're just we're just maintaining farm right now so nothing major is going on other than maintaining a lot of canning uh, the vegetables but the, um, the garden is drying up and burning up pretty pretty quickly so there's not a whole lot I can do there but um, you know hey guys like subscribe us uh, if you got any comments or questions please leave it uh, leave a message and we'll be happy to comment back on you I'm gonna take a nap yeah take care <laughs> bye